How are you enjoying life at Celtic at the moment? <laughs> really well. Um, city is beautiful. People are uh, great. Uh, here in club, everything is wonderful. Really, the best time on, in uh, in my life. The best time of your life? Why, why is that? Because we are playing well. Uh, we are here like a family. We support each other and that's it. Tell us about the enjoyment you're getting from the football you're playing at the moment. Uh, we are improving game by game, day by day on the training session. Uh, we want to keep track uh, what uh, manager want uh, from us. And um, you can see also on the, on the pitch that we are giving ourselves like 100% and uh, that's most important. Joseph, did you think Celtic w was going to have this effect, not only on your football, but also if, if you say it's the best period of your life? Did you expect Celtic to have this effect on you? Yes, because Celtic is big name in the Europe. In terms of your, your playing style, you're currently playing on the left-hand side. How much are you enjoying that? How, how tricky is that for you? Or, or is that something you relish as well? Uh, for now, it's going well. Uh, I don't know. We play so many games that uh, in my head I'm now I'm left back, but just for now, and um, we must continue like that. And uh, tomorrow also, just three points. Joseph, how have you had to adapt your game playing it left back rather than right back? Uh, it's a little different because you always now I looked on my right shoulder. When I'm right back, I'm looking always on my left shoulder. But uh, it's most important that we playing well. You know, uh, we have good players, uh, really good staff also. Uh, I don't know. If we continue like that, we can achieve our goals. You've been playing well in that position, but do you see your long-term future at Celtic as a right-back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joseph, just uh, sticking with the, the positional talk, uh, Ange really likes to have his full-backs on the ball, often coming inside. Do you feel that benefits your game, lets you to get forward a lot as well? Yeah, because the ball is always between your legs. You know, uh, In first game against Rangers, I was having 120 touches. I think this is unbelievable for full-backs, but uh, I'm enjoying it really well. I don't know, you scored a, a penalty the other night off the underside of the crossbar. Is that, that Penenka style something you do again or are you going to have to change it up next time you've got a spot kick? Uh, we will see everything on the next, next penalty. But uh, like I said before, uh, I was talking with Joe Hart uh, from my next penalty. I will take Panenka and I keep my word. Joseph, and moving on to tomorrow night, what are you expecting from Hearts? A lot at stake, particularly if they can get a result tomorrow evening. We are looking at some videos from Hearts. Uh, they play well, 3-4-3. Three, three. Uh, we want to play even better than uh, last game. Uh, we want to improve. Uh, we want to grow in, like a team. And uh, if we want to achieve our goals, we, want, we, we must to play uh, like attacking football, scoring goals and defending well. And there seems to be plenty of confidence in the side, particularly in the league, that, that you guys can, can go ahead and impose that style on any team? Yeah, but, uh, you know, every every building has uh, like little steps and uh, if you want to go on the top, you must uh, reach every step. And uh, because of that, we support each other, like I said before. Hi, 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 how you doing, Joseph? Um, obviously, there's there's a lot of football to be played. It's a really packed fixture calendar between now and even between now and the Rangers game coming up at the end of January. How difficult is it or how easy is it to maintain focus? Because we're in a really difficult title race at the moment and we really we really can't afford to drop any more points. Yeah, yeah we have like 10 more games, I think, uh, until the rest of this season, like half of season. Uh, it's tough games, but also like a player, I want to take a trophy and uh, every game is like the last important game. But uh, 
you know, if you want to be champion, you must you must beat everything, everybody, and um, because of that, everybody is here. And just from your own point of view, how difficult it is it to maintain fitness and avoid injuries? And is there anything that different that happens in training when you've got all these games packed together? But you know, it's uh, we have like three games in seven days. Maybe one day we are all together, like a full squad. Uh, because after the train, after the game, we have one day uh, regeneration. Then uh, another day, we are like full squad on the training ground. Um, I don't know, but for me, if we play like four games in five days, for me it's good because I love it and uh, I like to play football. I also, you know, as you mentioned, there ten games in the next sort of five weeks. It's it's a really packed schedule, but. What's the mood in the camp like, considering there's a cup final in there, there's a derby come the end of it, is it flowing with confidence at the minute? Yeah, we are like full confident, but uh, you know, we are going day by day, each game by game, and uh, that's the way to improve ourselves, like now in Hearts, then it's Dundee, yeah? Dundee, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we are going like just day by day, and we'll, we will be there.